Okay, here's a disclaimer on this particular video here. The reason I'm putting this on here is what I'm doing is not the right way to do it. Normally you would go get yourself a brand new piece. What I'm talking about is the spring that's on this sucker. It is under such force that you can do yourself bodily harm. So I'm telling you not to do it. So that no one can come back and say, well he said to do it. That being said, it took a bit of ingenuity and almost hurt myself several times to get the spring back on this window regulator because it is tight. That being said, this could be done, but I'd rather see you not doing it. This is just a document that it can be done. Y'all have a great day. Here's a little side project here. Picked this up for $45 out of the scrap yard. Still works, an original regulator. Got to looking at it, I grabbed the wrong one. Well, the only one that was there still. And it's actually a passenger side one. But as I got in there and looked more, it can be whatever you want it to be, but you're going to have to do some modifications. Somebody's probably going to get mad at me for doing this, but this right here is a stop. You can see it down in there. I'll try to show it more as I take this thing apart. But what I figured out, you got a rivet here and a rivet here. This acts as a stop with the bolt-in stop that's right here. So what I'm actually gonna try and do, that pin actually goes to the other side. What I ended up looking at, I'm gonna flip it over a little bit too. If you can see the number of holes there, you can actually move this thing. So you have these holes here and these holes here. If you go in and look on the back side, this hole here coincides with that one. So what I believe I can do, knock this rivet out, which most people are going to freak for that, but well, knock this rivet out, move this back over here, this rivet or this rivet hole will now become the rivet hole that goes in here, and that moves this in the opposite direction. This will have to flip to be going in the proper direction. This one have to come out and go right here. Now what I'm going to try to do first is actually take a file and do the, per the perimeter of this thing down to where I can actually drive it out. If I can do that on both of these to where I can actually drive it out, then I can actually move it, put it back in, and then take a hammer and mushroom the head again and see if that won't work. If not, I might go back in with a bolt or something. And this may all backfire. This may not actually work. But from the looks of it, if you look at the stamping, I think it was basically the same thing. It just all depended on which side you put this, this, and this on. It's pretty much the same thing. So, we'll see what happens from here on out. I've still got to go get a few parts and stuff like this, so it may be that this doesn't get done this evening, but I figured I'd do a video on it, see if it actually worked. Most people would be screaming, go grab yourself another new one, but this is a budget build. We'll see how it works. Okay, spring is off. It was originally on there like this. It's going to have to go back on there in this angle here. This was one of the stops. This was the rivet that hit this to this hole. So that hole to that hole. What I'm gonna do now that we're here this hole here is going into this hole here. This hole here 
we'll get this piece here. So that will go in there, and this will go in here on the back side. I still need to go in and take the other stop out, but we'll get to that in a little while. So we'll see how it goes. All right, another evening. What I ended up doing is if you come in here, you can see I actually punched those things back through. I ended up having to cut them off flush here and here. Pop them out, did the move, put them back in. Then I actually went through and tacked them because I was having trouble with them trying to pop back out. I couldn't mushroom them back over. I didn't have enough material. The other thing that I ran into is the piece that was on here that was the stop that included that piece, this nut, and this, and this was actually welded onto here. So those are out. These are what I'm going to put back in and I'll tighten them down real good. I actually had to cut this back down. I snugged the nut on it where it needed to be trimmed it back down so that will go in here to counteract this for the stop for the window going up and down this was a pain to get back on but y'all will see the disclaimer at the beginning of the video on that there we go this is gonna have to come out one more time cuz like a knucklehead I broke that screw off so I'm gonna have to go drill it out get it back out these two hooked up this actually goes up and down. There's still a few pieces that are missing that I still have to place on it. I've got a couple screws that got to go back in here. That moves, but a little at a time. I was able to get that done. So yes, you can switch it around. Should you? Eh, like my disclaimer said, there's some stuff that is kind of shady about doing it, especially dangerous with the spring on the back side. So if you do it, you do it on your own. I didn't tell you to do it. Y'all have a great evening.